Well, I think it was a very good event. Uh, we, we did this in, uh, in October um, when the new parliament just uh, started after the election summer period. So it was a good uh, opportunity to introduce Europe by the biotechnology industry to MEPs. I think we had a good turnout, some key MEPs were there. Uh, we had some, some very good snappy presentations getting our messages across, so I think it was a good event. Yeah. Well, I think our message, well, we had a couple of messages. One was, uh, what is biotechnology about? Why is it different from, from maybe pharmaceutical uh, research, or ideas and so on overall? Uh, what do we bring for patients? And then also, of course, the message around what MEPs want to know as well, the, the legislative program, what, what are our key positions on, on, the, on the current legislative dossiers that are out there. I think that came across very well, right? I mean, we, we as, as Europa Bay and the members are very focused on patients, making, creating, creating medicines, uh, uh, yeah, solutions for diseases of patients, so it's very patient-centered. I think the politicians respond to that as well and say yes, any, anything that they design, of course, regulation, legislation, in the end should be in the interest of patients and so on. So I think we have a good common agenda there between industry and, and legislation. The big, the big ones are, of course, the three legislative proposals, one on pharmacovigilance, one on information to patients, and, and one on anti-counterfeiting. And I think there we have some very clear positions about you know, what we think needs to be done to make sure that patients don't get falsified medicines, um, how pharmacovigilance uh, measures can be sharpened up so that biotechnology products can be identified as well. And then, of course, the most controversial one, but also a very important one, is, is, is about the information to patients, that indeed patients have the right to access uh, to information, but also that companies do have the right to, uh, to talk about. Yeah, of course. That's what the patient-centered medicine is all about. Um, patients should have timely access. They should have uh, as broad access to to healthcare solutions. Not only medicines, of course, any any kind of uh, treatment they should have access to. Uh, and then then this should be also up to the patient to choose what he thinks he or she thinks is the best for him in consultation with the other healthcare stakeholders like physicians. Thank you very much. Okay.